Hey everybody, it's BC here and welcome to another episode of Satisfactory. And today is going to be a good day. Today, today we're going to start getting some automation going because uh, uh, I'm actually planning ahead this time. So I've got an idea of what I'm going to work out to make sure things move smoothly. Uh, that's one of the things we're actually going to do today is we're going to start getting those power slugs going because we're going to need to research one of them, which means we're going to have to lose one, lose the first one, which is going to be that one there. And there's a couple more in the area. And as you can see, we have a friend. He's been hanging around here. He's been walking behind the, the hub there once in a while. He was walking through here. He was just standing right here. And I was going to start recording, but he walked over that way. Uh, as you can see, I was making concrete because I want to start expanding this a little. And I've been sort of thinking about this area here because I've got the six iron nodes direct right here. i got two there, two there, and two over there. I don't know if I want to give him a little zap. If he gets in the way, we might have to get rid of him. I won't kill him. I don't think he can, but you can zap him and he'll run and probably never show up again. Uh, let's see how we're doing on the copper, actually. Oh, wow, that's full, too. Uh, the iron's full. Yeah, I've been AFK for a while. I want to try to get a whole bunch of concrete made. This thing is slow, uh, sadly. That's what's made. Uh, that's what I've made with the overflow that's actually building up in here. Well, it's not building up now because I took it out of there, but yeah, that is the case. So anyways, uh, what I want to do first actually is finish up one of these uh, these hub upgrades because I want to get better inventory slots and we're going to have to get more biofuel going. Uh, and the best way to do that is cutting down trees with a chainsaw. So these, if you're new to this, this is how you unlock stuff in the game. You have to supply a certain amount of resources to the system. To, uh, well, not necessarily to the system, but it basically sets back, gets sent back up. But anyways, I want to go to tier 2 here, obstacle clearing, and get the chainsaw. So uh, I will have to make these because the assembler uses a fair amount of power, and, well, compared to what we have. So I'm going to select that. So i got to go and make those things up on the upper right there. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to try to get a little bit of produc uh, production going. Let's see where we're at here on uh, power. Uh... We're maxed out. So I'm going to actually build the three. Oh, the wrong button. Wrong button, BC. Let's say it. I got two memes on my channel now. Wrong button, BC, and uh, for recording purposes. Anyway, uh, I want to get three biomass generators going on their own here, and I'm going to isolate those two off the grid so I don't forget about those. So that way I can fill them all up at the same time. So I'll go ahead and rotate this like that, and like that, and. I think four should be enough. I'll we'll expand it a little more. Why not? Got the concrete. And that way we can get rid of these bushes too once we get this thing done. Okay, go to power. And now these are fairly weak. Okay, I need copper wire. Fortunately, that's easy to make. Uh, just because of the fact that we're maxed out on power, I can't actually get any constructors running because I think they're using like five five kilowatts a piece uh, doing this upgrade too will actually get me more inventory space which is always handy uh, you'd be surprised how fast it fills up all right up we go uh, no not down here uh, actually I have enough to build a craft bench here uh, nope yeah that's gonna be the next next thing we build eventually but that's as you can see that is automation right there and uh, that cement won't take a terrible amount of time. Uh, what am I looking for here? There we go. Craft bench. Let's go up here and just place it right here. Why not? Alright, uh, don't get out of there. And what do I need? I need wire. Uh, I can't remember how much it was, but uh, that should do it. Alright, back to the biomass burner. And uh, now I need plates. Do I have iron on me? No, I do not. Alright, give me a second. Okay, I actually made a whole bunch of stuff. I'm going to actually try to get four of them going because I want to get the wire going as well. Uh, I've been thinking about this area here. This area is going to be basic components. That's going to be the, the plates, screws, rods, and wire. Now, wire will probably have another area that goes, gets split, or we'll find another copper node somewhere and get that going through two constructors to make cable. Uh, 
I'm going to keep the smelters on the lower floor and make it all this concrete because I actually want to build a second level and have the conveyors going up to the second level where all the constructors are. And that's going to be fun. But uh, I kind of want to get into the coal production as soon as I can. Uh, unfortunately, we have to go through hub upgrades to do that. Uh, I'm going to build four of them for now just because we're going to need it. Okay, and we're going to have to build two poles, unfortunately. So we'll connect that to there, and that to there, and and then we'll build another one. Let's see, I guess I'll have to do it here. Yeah. It's kind of like a puzzle. You gotta figure out, how, figure out your connections, and then you are maxed out. But uh, that one is going, and there goes the grid. Ha ha ha. Where's the other one? Okay, I'll we'll get rid of this wire here too. too. Because like I said, I want to separate them from the grid. So back to the wire, and and we'll go there. And we go and fuel these things. You, uh, you, uh, you. Oh wait, I need more. Uh, we'll go steal it out of here. I just filled these things up. No, <laughs> I did. I swear I did. I'll just pull that out and. That, and I think I have some more made up in the chest here. I hope I do. I do not. That's fine. That's fine. We're not going to be using all of it anyways. So you just... You're the only one that needs fuel. Let's go ahead and sort that. Put that in there and... <sighs> that means I gotta go find some leaves to uh, gather up. Uh, where would be a good place to go? Oh, over here. Uh, I'm gonna go gather up some biofuel. I'll be back or biomass. Okay, it's all fueled for now. Uh, let's actually see how much concrete I have on me. 91. I'm gonna go pick up some more. Uh, we're gonna we'll start building the upper level here, and go from there. Is this that? Well, yeah, that is backlogging. So that means we can get a, a speed upgrade in there. Get that smelting a little bit quicker. Same with this thing. Uh, I know I'm gonna be needing a lot of concrete. Okay. And this is one of the things I've never actually done before is use conveyor, uh, sorry, walls, building foundations and stuff like that. And I'd like to do that here. I'm going to put the walls in there. Uh, uh, hold on. Mm -hmm. These things. Oh, I don't even have the openings yet. Ah, that's fine. Oh, I actually want that. Alright, so this is actually four meters high, so I gotta go too high to go cover up the top of the smelters. Uh, when I get to the steel and uh, the other alloys, I am gonna be uh, having foundry areas where those get going to their own systems, right? So, let's see. Let's see where do I want it. Let's see how it looks. I'll go this way. Mm. Speaking of which, I probably should get some uh, petal smelting. Oh, of course you turned it around on me. Nope. Come on. Uh, yeah. So, go like, there we go. Now, this is one of the things I, I, I didn't mention it before about this game. You can climb any machine. And that is awesome. So, we'll go up there. And there. Is this high enough? It's not. Ooh. Uh, any more plates. Okay, so uh, let me make a whole bunch of plates and I'll be right back. Okay, and as you can see, I also hotkeyed the things this time so I'm not fumbling with the keyboard all the time. I'll climb up on this container and get a better view of what we're doing here. Uh, actually, this isn't high enough. Uh, I thought I could get to the top of this thing. I can out here. I'll go up here, get a better view of it. Alright, so I got the walls on here, so we'll do that, and that, now, I don't know if, I'm assuming this is going to hold up, is that actually going to be enough, let's find out, climb up here, and I'm going to extend the wall a little more, uh, go back to zero, is that actually going to reach, oh, perfect, now that is what we're going to do, Go on top like so. 
and then conveyors are going to go up onto the top. So I'm going to put some walls on here and fill it up. Actually, what we're going to do while we do this, because this is going to take some time, we're going to go gather that thing and get it into Ma'am. Let her figure out what she's going to do with that thing, and then we can start producing a little bit better. Uh, if anything, it's going to end up going into a generator or a biomass burner just to produce a little bit more power. She get to the habit of collecting this stuff while I'm running. Okay, uh, where were you? You were up here. Okay. All the way up there, huh? Good thing we can jump really high in here. And at the same time, too, have maybe even flower petals so we can start getting like the paint cartridge and start coloring things. Not enough space. Oh, I'm gonna have to delete something again. Nope, maybe not. Love sort buttons. Uh, let's take the shortcut. Ooh. It was worth it. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, get old man set up here. Oh. Missed my, missed my exit. Alright. And I think I hear someone behind me, do I not? I do. Aha! I thought I heard you. What are you doing in my hub? My hub! Anyway, how many things do I have? Okay, I need three more of them to actually research those things. That's going to take seven and a half minutes, and I'm going to build this, and I'll be right back. Mm, this is awesome. Oh, I missed on that one. That's fine, I'll pick it up later. Minecraft, eat your heart out. I love that, that's so cool. That's one of the things I like about this. Don't know how, it how it's happening, I just call it video game magic. That's why we play games, right? Escape from the real world, do things that are completely different. Uh, uh, like a so. Alright, I thought I'd bring you back for that just because it was so fun. Uh, I don't know what we have for lights. I think we can use beacons as light sources. I never really checked that far into it, but. I have a fun adventure. How many more concrete? But I gotta fill it, finish up the wall and I'll bring you back. Okay, there we go. So that's gonna be the lower level. It's gonna be where all the smelter's gonna be. So it's just gonna be all basic stuff like we got copper and iron here. Um, there might be something else coming in, maybe quartz will come through here, we'll see. Uh, and then there's going to be another area, I haven't figured out where, maybe it's going to be probably over there. Uh, I know over there there's sort of a hazardous area that we can't use, but behind this hill there is uh, iron and there's some coal down there, so that might be like our foundry area where the steel and all that stuff is made, so maybe this might be where the assemblers are. Uh, space elevators are going to go right behind this tree, just towering right up. But anyways, uh, I don't think I have any way to get up here except for a conveyor belt, so I think that's what we're going to do. Give it a shot. Let's see how many plates I have left. Uh, not enough. Uh, let's uh, let me make, a, make, a, make a few here. Uh, just do that. That should be enough to get me up top. Okay, so let's... There we go. Yeah, three. I had to figure out what button it was. Alright, we're going to bring this out to... Let's see... I don't know if it's going to reach up there. Let's see. Nope. Apparently not. Actually, let's put it on a pole. That's what we should be doing. Take that out. Take that out. Uh, go to conveyor pole. And if we go up, I think we can actually reach from there. Up to there. And okay. And we got another pole up top. See here. I'm assuming that's in the right spot. Uh, it's yeah, let's put it there. Uh, okay, and the conveyor should actually reach if we go the right way. Why is it go doing that, you idiot? Uh, hmm. Well, I think I put that need to put another pole up here somewhere. Make sure that's going on. Or better yet, the pole's in the wrong spot. Let's not do that, shall we? Let's 
Mm, nice. Yeah, because it's not far out enough. I'll go there. That should be good. And it should connect. And why are you going that way? Alright, fine. Do it this way. And this is just temporary until we get the conveyor lifts, which should be fairly soon. Why? Why do you go that way? Because uh, for some reason the conveyor belt's going the wrong way. Or was it? I'm sorry. I I'm, can't f understand what's going on. I had to climb up there. I'll bring you back. All right. Well, for one, it was they were too close, far too close together. So I had to spread them out. So basically, I have one here and then one over here. Uh, let's get my concrete back. All right, and go over here and see what I can figure out. And I think it's because I got the uh, conveyor post up here. So as you can see, I'm over on this side. I might have to go a little bit more over, but I think if I'm up here, I might be able to get to go on without being all funky. Too steep. So it's like basically one more, but an eclipse in. But what I could do is take this out and go like that. And I think I might do that. And then up here we'll have the constructors. And then probably containers at the other end or something like that. Actually, even better. Even better any more plates. <laughs> uh, let me get those and I'll be right back. Actually, I'll show you my new stairs. This is the only way I'm going to be able to get up there except for the platform I built over by the hub. Uh, go ahead and make a few more of these. Not too many more. Uh, let's actually see what I need for the constructor. I think I need cables for it. And uh, let's see, production. Constructor is reinforced plates. Okay, we're actually going to have to do those ourselves. So we're going to have to grab some iron here. Grab some of that. Uh, make these rods, which we need for screws. We can find an alternate recipe that just skips the whole rod process, gives you double the screws for two ingots. Uh, I think that one is somewhere over in this direction. And all we really have to do is supply it with power and it unlocks. But there is a bit of an upgraded guy there. He's uh, a little tricky to deal with. All right, let's uh, head upstairs. Very slow conveyors. I haven't used the highest one yet. This is, what are these, 30 meters, a se uh, 30 items a second? Let's see, logistics. 60. Now, uh, the highest one I've seen so far is 780 per minute. That's incredibly fast. Okay, uh, yeah, I was gonna take the conveyor and run it down this end here. And then we'll have it loop back into the constructor. Let's see, is that straight? Yes, it is. Okay, go ahead and please. Where is it? There it is. Constructor. Oh, this is big. I thought it was... Oh, this will be interesting. Alright, well then I'll have to stack them, then I'll have one back here and one up there. Just so they fit. So now we gotta make the reinforced plates, and that's what I was <laughs> trying to do in the first place, I totally forgot. Okay. Now, pay attention, we are at the start of this rabbit hole. So each one of these is four plates and 24 screws. Uh, four plates is actually eight iron. 24 screws is 4 iron, so that's 12 iron to make one of these. To make a modular frame, I think you need, I think you need 3 of these, 3 or 5 of these, and then like 6 rods, 4 of them and 6 rods. And then from there, to get to the heavy modular frames, you actually need 5 of those modular frames, so you're looking at like three or 400 iron you need to make one of those things. And that's just the iron, it's not the copper and the, all the other resources involved in it, it's just... 
insane. So I have enough to make two of these things, but that's fine. As long as we can get some plates and rods going, and at least it's something. So uh, orange is always the input, green is always the output. And I want to try to get this as close as I can. That should do. Okay, and the next one. Uh, I want to make sure I have enough room. Where does that one start? Start. Not quite halfway. And. Okay, these are exactly one tile. This actually works then. But I need room for the conveyor. Hmm. That'll work, yeah. Because the conveyor goes up. Yeah, oh, this actually works. Alright, so then we get this one going. We go just. Can't afford. Oh, come on. Excuse me a moment. Okay, I'm back. I had to do some rage crafting there. But I'm all better now. Uh, ah, I forgot something. Hmm, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, that's one. How do I get the other belt up here? Because it needs more than one space. Hmm. Not that to work with, but I need that. It needs the space. It could come over top and try to loop down. Let me try that and I'll see if it works out. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the cons constructors there, the input's going to go in here, and then we're going to come out the top somehow and move up to another floor or something. Not 100% sure, but we'll do that. Okay, so this is going to be plates, that is going to be rods. Uh, i got to take these foundations out. Oh, not that one. And I'll get the rest of the conveyors hooked up, and I'll bring you back. Actually, let's get this power going. Uh, I think plates would be more important at the moment. Well, we're going to need rods more than anything, but... Uh, oh, yeah. I didn't even think about containers. Hmm. Containers are going to go up top, I believe. Let's try that. Can I actually place a wall here? No, it won't let me. Hmm. Alright, well, let's try something here. Oh. Uh, where would be a place to put this? Go there and see if we can go up that high. No, we can't. Too steep. Hmm. Yeah, we'll take this out then. Let's try this again. I realize we're getting a little long here, and our power slug should be ready. Okay, and then we'll place another. I think we can. Should be able to reach. Let's see here. Uh, that's not going to be wide enough, is it? That might be. And that's as high as I can go. That's the wrong button. Too steep. Hmm. As far as I can go, too. Alright, we're going to have to expand. We are going to have to expand. Uh. Like so. And I realize I definitely gotta get that power situation going pretty quick here. I'm gonna be running out of biofuel pretty quick. Alright, let's take this out. And that out. Take you, place you there. We'll go. No, not there. Sure, we'll go. Yeah, we're not putting walls in this place, it won't fit. Alright. Now the conveyors go up there, and up to there, and now I don't think you're going to go over. No, you're not. Hmm. Let's get up here and see what we can figure out. Up, please. Thank you. Hmm. Let's see if we can do this. Not double click, but uh, you know, single click and lift it up. That's what I meant to do. And it looks like encroaching. Yeah, what do I do? Hmm. 
Because I wanted to come up this side. What I could do, actually. Let's, let's try this a little differently here. Uh, I'm going to do this off camera. I'm going to put a wall up here under the foundation just above the power indicator. And I'll bring you back. Okay, so I've decided I'm going to do a quick farm on those plates, rods, and wire so I can get these conveyor lifts. That's going to make it work a little bit more efficiently. So I shall return. Actually, before we do that, our slug should be ready. Alright, so now we can actually make power. Uh, speed upgrades. Yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. Power shards, yes, that's what we're doing. Uh, do I have flower petals on me? I do. Let's uh, do the flower petals. So we can start painting things and making things colorful and pretty and other than this gray steel look, which I don't mind, but you know what I mean. Alright, uh, yeah, so let me do some farming and ask children. Okay, I'm just crafting up wire now. Uh, I know this is something I shouldn't be doing, but uh, I've seen where this goes. This is nothing. Me spending a couple, literally this took me like two minutes to do this. Two and a half, because I had to run to the wire another minute, half minute here while I'm rattling. There you go, three, four minutes work, and we're done. Okay, this isn't going to get me um, inventory slots, but it's going to get me productive to productivity display and it shows you basically the efficiency of the machine so you can tell whether you have backlog or uh, you got a machine running idle so let's get the the plates in there okay I did make 200 200 plates 200 rods and 500 wire and blast off good now it's gonna take three minutes to come back uh, yeah, we, those will come in handy, the merging splitters, and same with the, the conveyor lifts, and I've never used those before, and I actually want to get into them. Uh, but the next one that we're going to be doing is going to be obstacle clearing. But we got to wait for the hub to get back, to, or the thing to get back to do that. Alright, so now let's actually see how expensive these things are. Uh, where are they? Uh, logistics, yes. Just plates. I can do that. Uh, we'll hot key those on... Put them on five. Okay. Yeah, this is my staircase. That was working out. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to get stairs because I won't be able to use the conveyors to go up unless I have a line going up the side there, which I might do. It's actually... Yeah, I might do. I don't know how far I'm going to go. I might have to put foundations up there so I could make it work. But let's go ahead and take this out and this out and this out and that out and what kind of resources I'd get from you and your little friends up there man are you ugly it's almost like the reef back in Subnautica alright let's try this we'll do that to there now I've never used these before so I'm guessing it's automatic and I don't know how high you can go Ooh. oh hello you can get way up there I gotta get up there somehow Oh, yes, over here. Little platform. I'll bring you back. Okay, here I am. I can also take this out, too, because now we're going to be able to go on center with the constructor. Now, the thing's down there. Let's go ahead and do that, and let's see where it's going to be good. Okay, is that going to be too low? I think it is. So we'll do that, and just like so. And what it is, it's basically an elevator. And it's really cool. And then it goes off into here, which is going to be making plates, which has no power, and it has no output either, which is fine, because this is the nightmare I was trying to deal with here, but now I can just go ahead and put a ceiling on top, and we'll have a conveyor thingamabobber coming out from there. And I think I should have enough room. I did. There we go. And we go right over top of them. And then from there, we'll go to the other areas. So let me fill in the roof and I shall return. Okay, I got the roof on here, or the, the third floor technically. Is it the third floor? Yeah, it is. Wow. Getting big already. Okay, so I'm going to take the conveyor and uh, I need rods and plates. Oh, I got plates down here. 
Uh, no, actually, I don't because that thing has no power. So, uh, I'll be back again. Okay, I'm back. Also, too, I uh, should probably go activate that uh, thing so I can get more inventory space and uh, get the chainsaw because we're going to run out of fuel here pretty quick. We're going to go cut down some trees. But we have biofuel somewhere in here, too. Uh, and utility. And it comes in handy, but... Yeah, I. This is gonna be more important. All right, so I gotta make ten of those and get some walls, a whole bunch of other stuff going. So it's uh, that's the wrong floor. So anyway, uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here. I know we're running a little long on this one. Is I'm gonna get everything set up. Actually, I'll show you my elevator. I built an elevator on the side, or sorry, excavator. Yeah. A little, little bit of ways to get here, but get there. But we have the elevator here for the wheelchairs, and then uh, for people with shopping carts, you can always take the escalator if you need to. Run up here, and I think we can actually know, let's do it from the top. See if I can. Nope, we got to run around. Gonna get cramped in here. Uh, Jetpack is going to be utmost priority. I think we. I think we get that early on, I can't remember. Okay, so let's go here. Get our handy dandy conveyor and go uh let's go there and see if we can actually get the lift right off the end there. Seems to connect and uh, there we go. Alright, up, 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 there we go. And now we go into containers. I uh, just like so. Uh, we'll just do one container for now until we actually get some resources built up because, uh, yeah, that's gonna be yeah, different. Let's put this on eight because I'm gonna be building a lot of these things. Uh, and why are you turned that way? Uh, I did not want you that way. Why is that? Why? I didn't know these things could actually turn. <gasps> Again. Learn something new every day, that's my motto. Just hope hopefully it's actually a, a good thing you learn. Okay, orange is in and it doesn't actually show me the green arrow, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and no oh, no oh, not conveyor pole, conveyor belt. Okay, you don't actually see it, but it's in there. Okay, and so now we just gotta hook this up, turn hook this power up to this. And let's see, we got a pole there that's maxed out. We have a pole down there that's maxed out, probably. Uh, let's see what we can do from down here. And power's gonna be an issue, too. Uh, let's go ahead and push, put up a hole here for now and see if I can actually hook it up somewhere. Right there. That means we're going to have to get some more poles. Uh, let's put one here for now. I'm not going to be having too much going, getting connected, but one of those and one of those. You are making plates. There they come. Come out. Up they go. And you are going to be doing rods. Now we're just going to get you connected. Now this is going to be so much easier. Uh, okay, the fact that I drop down here to get this set up and we'll just have it the exact same so let me finish this up and I should bring you back okay I just got the rods set up and I was just about to start getting the copper set going the wires and you hear how peaceful and quiet it is we either ran out of fuel or we maxed out and I have a feeling we ran out of fuel oh. uh, anyway uh, let's see what's going on I'm out of fuel. Alright, well that means I gotta upgrade some stuff. Uh, I think I might actually be able to get the chainsaw here. As we're doing obstacle clearing. Uh, actually see how much we have of it for this. Like I said, the rods and the plates I can grind out myself. Uh, let's see here. 200 rods. I got the rods. I got not many cable. I have 10 of those. Uh, let me shore up the rest of these numbers here and we'll get a chainsaw and go cut down half the forest. 
Okay, I got everything ready. I made a little bit extra of everything just in case we need it for whatever. So let's go on here. Let's uh, give it some rods. Okay, we'll give it some reinforced plates, get some wire, and some cable. Now, give me my chainsaw. We got five minutes to wait. Alright, that gets made over here. Uh, chainsaw. Ten more reinforced plates. Which I think I have enough on me to actually make. I think I do, actually. Can I make it? Come on, come on, come on. let me. Let me. Oh, I, I can't reach it to the wall. Damn you. Uh, I just need to make eight more. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Oh, I don't have fuel. <laughs> chainsaw is useless without biofuel. Oh, no. All right, I'll make the chainsaw anyways. Oh, I need more screws. I have a screw loose, help me. Actually, I uh, have a few of them loose. But we won't tell anybody, will we? I can't remember how many I needed. That should be enough. There we go. Oh, now I need rods and made too many screws. Don't worry. That's probably one of the last times I'll have to craft anything really. I see it. I know I say that a lot, but. Come on. There we go. Alright. Give me my chainsaw, which has no fuel. And has no blade, apparently. There it is. Mm. Interesting. Okay. So it's going to be uh, uh, five minutes. Get that out of there. There we go. Let's go in here. So it's going to be five minutes for this. The next one we're going to have to do then is going to be biofuel, which I believe is in here. So rods, plates, and that. I got to go gather up some biomass because I got nothing. So I'll be back. Actually, what we could do while I'm gone, petals. And let's see, what do we get here? And you have a message. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Alright, so that's all I can do with that. I can do the barrel on that. Uh, comes in handy for the scanner, but I'm not really too worried about that. And I just need three more of these. So I think we're good on this for this for now. So what is the next thing I was going to do? I was going to... Gather up some biomass, I think. Actually, yeah, I was gonna gather up some biomass, get those generators going. Uh, I shall return. There's a, there's a whole bunch of stuff up here I can go gather, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and made uh, 1200 biomass, so we are good on power. We just gotta fill those machines up, and this is this is the tedious part until we can find that, get up to that coal tier, but I think that's the first upgrade in the space elevator. This thing's actually starting to look pretty big. And there we go. You can see the constructors running. Uh, that's how I got the smelters down there. Because you don't really see too much as far as animations go. But up there, when you get up there with the constructors and uh, the assemblers, that's where it gets interesting. Okay, so I have plates going. I have rods going. Let's go upstairs and see what's going on. All I, I got to do is hook up the wire and get that being produced. Uh, I never did select that milestone. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh... Actually, we did. Did we? No, we did not. But it doesn't matter. Let's get uh, production going first. Okay, that is connected. I realize this is off-center. It doesn't bug me if it bugs somebody else. I have no problems adjusting it. So we got plates in there. We have rods in there. Run all the way down here. Actually, we're going to drop down this side here. See if I can land on the platform. And get the... Oop. Yeah, I'll get it. We're good. And get the constructor hooked up. Alright, so, I have to climb all the way back up there. So I'm going to do the exact same thing I got over there, except the constructor is going to be making wire. So I'll bring you back when that's done. Okay, just about done here. All that's left to do is get some more poles in here. So, let's see here. I'm spaced four tiles apart. Let's do it this way. Do that, and put that one there. And then that one there, and that one uh, there, and that one there. And that's just for planning, right? Because you never know what you're going to get. So this is going to be making wire, so 
we got copper going in, the wires going out, and they're going up here. I want to see if I can actually ride this thing. And this might not be a smart idea. Considering the fact I can't get in, even get in there. But there we go. So all that's left to do is just figure out where we're going next uh, in here. And I think this is going to be important for now. Uh, we also do gotta get the space elevator going, which is a very expensive thing for what we have. We've got the concrete. Uh, plates we probably have by now, and rods, maybe. Let's actually run up there quickly before we end this. I know it's not much right now, but we're just getting started. We actually do have some production. Uh, I'm actually curious about the power grid. Okay, so that we can actually add some more stuff on here. So. Uh, Probably the next one will st after we get the next hub, hub upgrade and we start getting biofuel, which is going to actually work better than those things. Uh, we'll capture those two iron nodes and get those going to the system as well. And then I'll probably change this one over to plates or have a second plate here. And then another one will be the rods and maybe going into a constr uh, going up into rods and maybe double constructor because we do technically have room upstairs. We'll go check that out quickly here. Uh, of course, in between the con two constructors, there will be a container, so I want to make sure I have the room for it, and I think I will. Oh yeah, because the container takes up about a little over a block, or a tile on the constructor and the container. And yeah, so that is going to be it for this one, I do believe. We do have some minor production. We definitely got to work out the power situation, but that's going to be done in the next hub upgrade. We're just waiting for supplies, and yeah, that's what we were going to do actually do before I end this. Uh, go up to the top floor and see what we have. I will be building a crafting bench up here because this is where I'm going to be doing all my crafting. So we do have plates. I've used some. We have almost two stacks of iron uh, rods, and all the way down here, uh, I'm getting tired. Wire. And with that, I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.